This is the second narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 6, Genetic Basis of Inheritance. Let's get started. In this portion of Module 6, particular key terms of genetics are discussed, along with the discussion of how chromosomes are responsible for genetics. Two laws of genetics discovered by Gregor Mendel are discussed, as well as methods to test those laws. A cross means two organisms are bred together to produce offspring, or prodigy. A generation is a group of organisms born after a particular reproduction event. P stands for parent generation. F1 represents the first filial generation, and F2 represents the second filial generation. Other important terms include inheritance, which is the process of a gene passing from a parent generation to offspring. Allele refers to a particular copy of a gene. Genes are different because their DNA sequences are different. The term genotype refers to the genetic makeup of an organism, while phenotype refers to the physical expression of alleles causing observable differences in an organism. Dominant alleles are always expressed, while recessive alleles are only expressed if dominant alleles are not present. Gregor Mendel was one of the first people to study how the traits of living things are inherited in different ways. Although Mendel was unaware of the existence of DNA and discovered genetics independently, by controlling the breeding patterns of pea plants, Mendel developed methods that could be used to identify the dominant traits that are observed and the recessive traits that are hidden. Mendel's experiments determined organisms may be homozygous, which means they carried the same genetic sequence on both homologous genes, while heterozygous refers to possessing two different genes at the same genetic locus. True breeds of organisms have much of the genetic diversity bred out, which results in a high frequency of homozygosity. Hybrids are crosses of populations or species and tend to increase the heterozygosity. Named for its creator, Reginald C. Punnett, a Punnett square is a tool which calculates the frequency of phenotypes that will be produced by two parents. Basically, it is a diagram that is used in the prediction of a particular cross. In this example, the yellow color is determined by the dominant allele Y, and the green color is determined by the recessive allele little y. The left Punnett square demonstrates a dominant homozygote represented by two capital B's crossed with a recessive homozygote represented by two lowercase b's. The results show that only heterozygotes are produced. If those heterozygotes are crossed with each other, one-fourth are dominant homozygous, capital B, capital B, half are heterozygous, capital B, lowercase b, and one-fourth are recessive homozygous, lowercase b, lowercase b. Mendel discovered several laws of genetics, including the law of segregation. Although Mendel was not aware of steps of meiosis that separate maternal and paternal chromosomes during gamete production, the law of segregation states that traits are inherited independently from one another because allele pairs separate during gamete formation. This means the first generation of offspring will appear as either one trait or the other, but not as a blend of the two. If the law of segregation were not true, when two people had children, all of their children would be an average of their height. 
The law of independent assortment was also discovered by Mendel. This law explains that two traits are distributed independent of each other in the first generation. Independent assortment explains that the first generation may be any combination of their parents' traits. Otherwise, all individuals of the first generation would be identical to either mother or father. The laws of segregation and independent assortment may be tested with monohybrid and dihybrid crosses. Test crosses are methods that have been produced to determine if an organism expressing a dominant trait is homozygous or heterozygous for that trait. Organisms that carry different genetic traits are known as different genotypes. The procedure shown in the diagram shows the results of crossing an organism with an unknown genotype, the uncontrolled variable, with a known recessive homozygous, the control variable. The first generation, the dependent variable, may produce 50% prodigy expressing the recessive trait. This means the organism is a heterozygous individual. If all prodigies are observed to the dominant expressing, then the organism is a homozygous individual. Monohybrid crosses involve the breed of heterozygous hybrids with each other to produce individuals that express the recessive form of a single trait. Organisms that express traits differently are known as different phenotypes. This diagram shows that if two heterozygous individuals are crossed, one-fourth of the first generation is homozygous recessive and expresses the desired recessive phenotype. This is another example of a Punnett square of a monohybrid cross. This diagram is describing one of Mendel's crosses between parents that are heterozygous for the purple-white color alleles. Dihybrid crosses are similar to monohybrid crosses, only with two traits. The cross of the organism shown in the diagram explains 1 16th of the first generation is an organism expressing the double recessive phenotype. This is a review of the key terms relating to Mendelian genetics. The laws of segregation and independent assortment may be tested with monohybrid and dihybrid crosses.